Hi, I'm Dr. Mary Fink and I'm here with Sharon. Um, we are working on some spasticity issues and some HO in his left hip from an injury three months ago. Yeah. Yes. Um, where he was stretching, stretching, and <laughs> he felt a pop in his hip and then has had like some pretty excruciating pain and that resulted in a lot of spasticity from his C4-5 incomplete spinal cord injury. Um, so I've been doing a lot of dry needling, scraping, and cupping to help release everything and ranging his hip. You can feel his HO in his hip right here pretty well, like just medial to his ASIS. So the first video I'm just going to demonstrate kind of some dry needling techniques with spasticity. Um, sometimes it will cause the muscle to go into spasm, so I might have to put some deep pressure through the leg, um, but it, it's been a really good tool for him. Uh, he takes a little bit of baclofen at night, but he's been able to avoid taking a lot during the day. Um, but I generally get his TFL, hip flexor, and his quads. Uh, and then I do some electrical stimulation to help reset the neuromuscular connection to the brain. There's a good twitch there. So you could see when I got a twitch, his leg twitched a little bit. But I find this uh, very helpful in a lot of different neurologic populations, even Parkinson's for rigidity, uh, MS traumatic brain injury, pretty much anybody that's having poor motor control, there's a good twitch, and then you can see his leg go into spasm, but it's not that bad. Sometimes he tries to yeah, kick me, but well. yeah. He, he has some insult to his corticospinal tract, so his pain signal is not the greatest, so it was hard for him to tell that he he, he did have pain, but it was mostly very change in functional status, going from like almost walking sometimes without anything to going back to using two Lofgren. So now I'm just gonna stim it so I get a good muscle response. I try to put the Hertz on a little bit higher just to kind of fatigue the muscle in his situation for a longer period of time, whereas someone, if you're trying to facilitate the motion, you would put it on slower um, with a little bit more blast just to get the muscle to fire. But in his case, we're trying to kind of do both, but more get the muscle to relax because his adductors and his medial hamstring mostly pull him into adduction when he sits to stand from a chair. So this is just a little demonstration of dry needling. This is not the more spastic side. Usually when I flip him over and do his glutes and his uh, medial hamstring, it's, it's much tighter, but we thought that this was more related to his specific injury, so. When you needle the muscle, if it's a little confused, you'll get kind of a spotty contraction, which we're getting here, where is not really beating very fluidly or consistently and now we can see that it's see how it's jumping in and out hopefully you can see that on the video so that is some dry needling next video we'll do uh, some muscle scraping and cupping